South Australians have mixed views on the new brand the government hopes will sell the state to the world. But after spending $1.3 million on the design, the Premier's just glad it's got people talking. Ready? Hey. Here we go. A new sign of the times and the government hopes brand South Australia will put the state on a pedestal. People are instantly recognising this as a doorway. They're instantly recognising it as an invitation. He says it's a long-term proposition, but it's already on display on the state's welcome mat, Adelaide Airport. Over 7.5 million passengers a year pass through that doorway. And they all have different views. It really points out where South Australia is. I, I think the yeah, branding's quite good right. and um, the workmanship on the sign's pretty good too. <laughs> not very exciting logo. OK. The old one was better. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not fantastic, but it's not bad. Uh, I like the colours. But like it or hate it, the Premier's just pleased the new brand seems to have people talking. It's certainly got people talking, and so it's achieved its first objective. It was unveiled at a gala launch last night, beamed onto the festival centre's roof. I look at that and I can actually see where South Australia is placed within our beautiful country. In one word, <laughs> awesome. It's very versatile. There's a very broad range of, of things you can promote it for, from tourism to industry. Any brand you put up can be the best brand of the world. Half of the people will hate it. And the thing is, you just need to get used to it, you need to get behind it. And for once, the opposition's doing just that. Well, I think it's heaps good, and we should all be going all the way now in South Australia to make SA great. What did you actually think of the design? Oh, look, it, you know, I think of these one of those things that you've got to basically let grow on you. But some in the design industry are underwhelmed. It looks a little bit 80s. I think um, using a map as a logo is, is a bit of a throwback to about 30 years ago. Tom Richardson, 9 News.